Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Ultra Hardware, I'm going to pull the tag off of here, the Ultra Hardware 61374 uh, zinc plated turnbuckle. hook and eye style turnbuckle. These are not load rated, so, you know, use them in an application where you do not expect it to be even remotely tested for its strength. And I say that only because I don't know what its strength is, um, because it's not been tested. It seems of very good quality, but I wouldn't try to hang 50 pounds off of this, per se. Okay, let's go over the item. Uh, zinc plated that means it's going to be made of steel with a zinc corrosion resistance on it you've got your hook you've got your eye and a turnbuckle will allow you to connect two items together and rotate that center buckle so as to push apart or more commonly draw together the two ends um, I've seen turnbuckles like this used in well, you would use it in a storm door, a wooden storm door where the door's got some giddy up to it, it's warped, and you might run a thin piece, let's say, 16th of an inch aircraft cable, nylon coated stainless aircraft cable, corner to corner, then use a turnbuckle to tighten that together and draw it in. I've also seen turnbuckles like this used on the back of furniture. You might have a glass shelf where it might be prone without diagonal supports to move in a lateral sense, so you might use a turnbuckle to tie those outside corners together to keep that from moving. would be where you might use a turnbuckle as well. Price given is each. They have an overall length of 4 and 3 eighths, and let's take a look at that with the tape measure. Right at its minimum, or at least when the bolts bury into each other, as you can see. going to be at about 3 and 3 sixteenths. So if we were to unthread that, I'm going to pause this video and unthread that. Okay, and what makes a turnbuckle obviously work is the concept of having left and right threads on either end. So I've got that all the way out to about its maximum. We get right out into that 4 and 3 eighths range. It might have a couple more threads left in it, but that's what it is. Give you an idea of the width of the hook end. About half inch overall. The outside diameter of the eyelet, about the same. Okay. Length of the turnbuckle body itself looks like it's about an inch and seven eighths. Uh, you can buy them as each. They do come ten in a box and then a hundred in a case, but you can buy just one. Uh, that does infer breaking a box, which we will do here and send you any quantity that you like. There is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Ultra products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. I'm partial to Ultra hardware products and it's because there's a confluence of very good value and uh, price. A lot of bang for the buck, so to speak, with their products. And if you are looking for specifically anything residential in nature, I would strongly urge you to review their cabinet hardware, their drawer poles, their cabinet knobs, very nice quality material, very good, uh, fair, economical price. If you are a commercial client, I would urge you to look at their hinges, their door closers, their lock sets, and their exit devices, and in particular, their exit devices. Very nice quality exit devices from Ultra, and their lever lock sets are nice too, as are their knob locks, but their commercial grade 2 lever locks are uh, something to look at if you're an installer, let's say, of steel doors and frames. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Ultra products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the Ultra hardware, 61374 uh, eye and hook turnbuckle or any other ultra product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.